right, so the first thing we need to do is change out the BIOS chip and remove the jurisdiction chip. So come on down here. Okay. And open the uh, CPU door. Take out both of the CF cards because you're not going to need it. Argo S uses USB only. And you're going to take out the jurisdiction chip as well as the BIOS chip. So take both of these out. They just pull straight out. Okay, and then you need to put your Argo S BIOS chip. Here, let me get to the label. Focus. There we go. Come on, iPhone. There we go. It's kind of hard to see, but it does say Argo S on it. All right, so we're gonna put that chip in. Hard to see, I've got a shadow with this light here, so let me move it over here. Okay. All right, so that is in there now. And so now what we're gonna do is also get the installation USB and put it in the USB port. So let me get that real quick. Just trying to find the right one here. Hang tight for a second. All right, so this is the one we're looking for here. Okay, so you can just put that into any USB port, uh, but they have some convenient ones right here on the, on the board. Just stick it in there and power on. And let me turn the light off and we will move on up here. Now, if you just get a blank screen when you turn it on, that means that you did not put the BIOS chip in all the way or it's not correctly installed. So just go back and do that again. I've done it a few times. So we'll just wait for this to boot. It's gonna take a little while. And as soon as it's done, I'll show you the next step. All right, so it's gonna boot up into this. And the first thing that you need to do is do a factory reset. So press here. Do you want to proceed? Yes. And that will do a format. And then the next thing you're gonna to need to do is install all of your files. Um, so I'm gonna list those, what you're gonna need. Basically, you need the uh, jurisdiction, the OS, and the game file. Okay, so what you're gonna do is open the machine up uh -huh. and put those in an available USB port. Okay. So I'm just waiting for it to read everything. Now you're gonna notice if you have an incompatible version of Windows, um, if it's the 04, it's gonna be grayed out and it's not gonna let you install it. Uh, that's why you need the 03, which you saw that just popped up there. So I have these three here, so I just wanna make sure they're all checked like that. And then click install. And then say install and let it do its thing. That will take a little bit, so I'll be right back. All right, so we're just about done here. Okay, so what I need to do is still, I need to install the actual game file. I ran out of USB ports, so <laughs> I'm gonna remove the ones that I put in there. And I just happen to have a piggy bank in here. So that's the one I'm gonna install. In case you're looking for the file. Uh, focus, focus, focus. Come on, focus. Oh, God, frustrating. Um, it's A11F000, 101, or 1020. All right. Anyway. Okay, I put that in there, and we just need to give it a second to uh, read the new USB I put in there, and it will show up here so you can see the game here. So we're gonna install. And click install. And we'll wait for that, we'll be right back. All right, so we got the game installed. So here's a list of everything that we have installed. You wanna make sure all of those things are on there. Your game, your OS, Windows, jurisdiction, and of course your BIOS, which is the actual physical part. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and power off the machine. And we're gonna to have to do a couple things here. So let me power off the machine. 
first thing, let me take out all the software USBs. And also the uh, boot USB, which is the uh, installation utility. And what I'm going to be putting in um, is the license dongle for piggy banking, as well as the uh, the A11F, which is the uh, the denomination selector. Uh, basically, you need it uh, both of these things installed. Uh, this controls the uh, the actual denominations themselves, and then this is the actual license for the software. So both of these are little half-top USBs. They go on the board itself, on the actual CPU. Um, so I'm gonna put those in. Uh, there's two USB ports inside of the box. There's only two to choose from, so they're pretty easy to find. So let me go ahead and put those in real quick. Okay. Both of those are in. Okay, so the next thing is if you're gonna be running a Locket Link game, you're gonna need a switch. Um, it's not gonna be plugged in to any network or anything. It's kind of basically a private network, but you're gonna need one anyway. Uh, so just buy, this is a TP-Link uh, model number. Let's see, my eyes aren't too good. TLSF100, uh, I think it's a 5D. Anyway, I'll put it up on the screen here so you can see it. So you need to put uh, one of these in the machine. Um, there should be an available plug right here that you can plug it into. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna have to run a plug out to, out to a box here to power the actual switch. Now the under end, other end of this, you need a cable that just goes to any of the ports here. Um, and this cable goes into the top of the CPU box. Now you might find a USB port on the actual back plane. You do not wanna plug it in there. That's for the real controller. Uh, you want to put it into the actual CPU itself. So let me run this down here and plug that in. And while I'm down here, I'm going to also plug in my ticket in, ticket out. So it can get power. Okay. And close the CPU box, but do not fully latch it. Um, you do not want to lock the CPU cabinet because in order to do the setup for Arg OS, you need to make sure that it is unlocked, okay? Very, very important, otherwise you will not get the setup. All right, so after you do that, go ahead and power on the machine. This will take a very long time to boot, and I will be right back with the first thing it makes you do. All right, so the first thing it's gonna ask you is do you want it to RAM clear? Now, we already have done this, so we don't need to do this, um, but the trick is, is that if you ever do want to do this in the future, let's say you wanna start all over, um, all you need to do is make sure that the CPU box is unlocked. Um, if the logic door is open, then you will get this option. Um, if the logic door is closed, it'll just boot normally. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and skip this because we don't need it. And uh, we'll do some more loading here, and I'll be right back when it gets to the next thing. Okay, so the first thing that's gonna come up is easy config. Um, it'll ask you about IP addresses and networking, all that, just click that. Nothing you need to do there, and I'll be right back. All right, this is where we get to the fun stuff. This is the uh, long setup process. So, first thing you need to do is go ahead and open the door mm -hmm. and press that diagnostic test switch again, which is just that right here, the yellow one. Just press that once. And let's throw through all the setup here. And again, there is a specific uh, procedure that you have to go through here for it to work right. Uh, I changed the clock to 12 hour, completely up to you. I don't have to change anything else on here. Save and continue, continue. Serial ID, this is for the ticket in, ticket out. So I'll set this to one and the asset ID I'll set to one. Uh, don't change anything there. Save and continue. Nothing here, continue. Nothing here unless you wanna change the uh, jackpot limit, etc. cetera. Um, I'm just gonna leave it the same. Okay, an ION network setup. Don't touch anything here, save and continue. And it's gonna say, do you want to continue with pay table setup? Say yes. And this is for piggy banking. And so I'm gonna do the, uh, let's see, I like this one here. The 10 cent, 20, 50, and $1. So you have each of your denominations here and you need to set what you want the payback percentages to be on each of them. So uh, I'm gonna select the highest, which is 9481. So I'm gonna do that on all four of these here. I'm just gonna have them all be the same. And click next. And if you wanna change the max bet size, so here's 500, this one's 250, etc. 
and then click next and then save down here okay next step go home go up here change this to multi-bank controller and then go to setup and then name the controller something i just do home like that click accept configure links okay and then i go to all pay tables and then create link and set yes and this basically links the progressives together uh, for all of the pay tables so i'll click exit give it a second and then what you're going to need to do is click start progressive Okay, then just click OK, and then go home, and then go to EGM mode, go back to setup, and the first thing we're going to go to protocol setup, SAS primary, this is for the ticket in, ticket out, so validation type is system, save and continue, and we're going to do it for voucher in, voucher out, and bonus, save and continue, okay, and then we need to go to progressive, and configure, uh, configure controllers. Oh, I need to go here first. So, my mistake. So, configure progressive combos first. These should all say MMLNAP uh, for local area. Uh, make sure they all set like that. And then click save down at the bottom and then say yes. Okay. Now you can click exit and go to configure controllers, MMLNAP, and home should be in here. If it is not showing up in there, make sure that that network cable is plugged into the top of the CPU box. Then click save and uh, click home. And then I like to lower the sound. So I put the alarm down here and then I put the sound a little bit lower as well. And that's all you need to do. So you need to close the logic box. So make sure the switch is closed and uh, we will exit this and I will do that real mm -hmm. quick. And then close the door. And we are good to go. We have converted over to Argo S for Locket Link.